Real quick, I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and help keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support the channel and get your name up here at these fucking chads, check out the video description below. All right. Hey guys, I've been asked a ton on stream about what to spend your emblems of heroism on and in what order. So I figured I'd make a quick video on it. For those watching who might not know what emblems are, emblems of heroism are rats versions of badges of justice. The most popular way to obtain these are by spamming heroics. But you can also get them from some quests in the open world as well as the heroic daily. You can also turn in your emblems of valor in return for emblems of heroism as well if you're really desperate. With these emblems, you can buy a ton of gear, heirlooms, and even some tier and PvP pieces. What you do with your emblems is completely up to you. However, here's a suggested order to go in if you're a warlock. First thing I'd suggest getting is Sundar of the Exiled. This is an extremely strong trinket that is pre-bis for all warlock specs, and it's so good that it's even phase 1 bis for demonology. Get this ASAP and go pump. Whether you're coming from questing and you have one of those shitty green trinkets, or you came from TBC and you have Skull Gul'dan, Sundial is much better and you should be trying to get this ASAP. Next, I usually get the plush sash of Goosebump. This belt is super nice because it's one of the only early belts with not only really good stats, but also a socket. Remember, you can put a belt buckle on your belt as well, meaning this belt would end up with two sockets, which is super cozy. Next up, I would suggest going either neck or offhand. Which one you choose will simply depend on which one you need more. If by now I've stumbled upon a really nice neck while farming my heroics up, then I just get the offhand next. Or conversely, if I found a really decent offhand, or maybe I'm running the staff, then I just get the neck. Lastly is your tier 7 pieces. You can get the tier chest for 80 emblems and the tier gloves for 60 emblems. There's a couple reasons I always get these last. The first reason is that while they are good pieces of gear, gloves are not even prebis, and while the tier 7 chest is prebis, it's barely better than the overpowered spell weave. Just in case you didn't know, there are these tailored crafted spell weave robe and spell weave gloves that are bind on equip and are on the auction house right now, and they are extremely good. They might be pricey now depending on your server, but don't worry they'll plummet in prices here real soon. Either way, I typically get chest before gloves, since chest is a little bit better than spell weave, making it prebis. Meanwhile, the tier 7 gloves are not better than spell weave. But you should still get these because you will end up needing them for your four piece when it comes time to interact. That's why I get it last. Well, that's it my friends. Any other emblem gear you want to buy is up to you. I just wanted to list ones that I pry out and I suggest that you do as well. As always, I stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Vibes where I'm no lifing wrath. My warlock is absolutely kitted already and I'm impatiently waiting for the raids to open up. Please hit the follow button on the way out as it helps me grow tremendously and please hit the like button as well as it lets me know that you all enjoy these kinds of videos. Also, let me know in the comments if there's some other warlock related videos like these that you'd enjoy. Till next time, peace. <laughs>